Well, it's always a pleasure to be here at the Des Moines Art Center with Jeff Fleming, the director. And today we're here to learn all about a very unique artist. His name is Tony Fair. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeff, Tony seems to be making work out of very unusual and mundane items. Tell us about his work. Uh, absolutely. This exhibition actually is a 20-year survey of his, of his work. And he started, he started out as a painter, actually, but he said a really transforming experience was walking by a shop in New York City and seeing a bowl of marbles. And I think that's a really good way to talk about this show. It, at least, perhaps, I don't want to be sexist, but at least for boys, you know, you collected marbles as a boy and you separated them by color or by size or if they had multiple colors. So was that notion of sorting of collecting, of changing them, is apparent in this exhibition because he does use mundane objects. He does use marbles. He might use, for example, a, a red marble on top of a green bottle. Uh, red and green are complementary colors, so they have sort of a force between them. But that very simple act, that very simple transformation, it's really what he sees as a magical thing, something so simple, something so familiar, that you can make magical, and that's what this show's about. Because he really doesn't, he's not changing the items in any way, he's keeping them exactly how you would find them. So is he making a statement at all about recycling as well, or really not? Um, other, not recycling in the sense that we might recycle our newspaper, but recycling in the sense that everything can be significant, that everything is important, um, that everything has a beauty in it. So. You don't necessarily have to throw it away, but you can just recycle it to another form or another purpose. Which is so great. Now, you know there's going to be people that look at this and maybe say, you know, how is this art and why is this art? What do you say to that? Um, absolutely true. And I think it, it's very interesting that children get this show. Children love this show. Some adults, of course, hopefully do too. But the, the notion of that very simple act it's just really childish, childlike is probably a better word, um, which, uh, for example, Picasso said, and I probably won't get it right, he, he said, every child is an artist. You just have to keep that childlikeness as an adult artist. And so that, that's, you can look at this show that way, just those simple acts, those childlike acts um, are here. And so in, enjoy it. Don't, don't think you have to bring something conceptual or, or difficult to it. Simply enjoy the transformation. Well, speaking of Picasso, when I was here, I was a little bit skeptical if I was going to be able to see the Picasso in the other room and come in here and still feel the same about this art. And the truth of the matter is, it really impacted me, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. And I think he's changed the way I look at beauty and I look at everyday things in my life now. So I feel affected by his work, and I think that's what art is all about. I, I love that. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, how long is Tony's work going to be here? Uh, it'll be through the first of September. Okay. So it'll be our summer show. Great. And is there another, there's a talk coming up that involves... There's a, a variety of programs surrounding the show, as well as programs such as the films on the lawn this summer, Summer on the Hill, and it can all be seen in DesMoinesArtsCenter.org. Wonderful. Jeff, well, thanks again. It's been a great experience.